Today I'm going to show you how to transcode or convert uh, video files from your Canon T2i or other Canon DSLR into an appropriate intermediate format for uh, editing in Sony Vegas uh, using the Matrox VFW codex. I previously posted a video on YouTube uh, explaining how to do this using the Avid DNX HD codec. Uh, that, that's still a great method, um, but the Avid codec doesn't support 30 frames per second. The Matrox codex do. So let's get started. First type in Matrox VFW codex May 5th, 2010 into Google. Please don't forget the May 5th, 2010, or you're going to end up with an old version of the codecs that don't work. Click search. Click the first result. I scroll down the page until you see this. Click it. Download the software. Install it. Then go back to Google. Type in Prism Video Converter. Click search. Click the first result. Click get it now. Download it. Install it. Go back to Google. Type in FFD Show Tryouts. This is a codec pack. I typically don't like codec packs, but I've tried it with and without and it doesn't work without. I have Windows 7, so uh, if you have a different operating system and you want to try it without, uh, feel free and hopefully it'll work for you. Click search, click the first result, click download now, download it, install it. Once you've downloaded that all that software, you should be good to go. The next thing you're going to want to do is open uh, Prism Video Converter. It'll look like this. Um, First thing is click Add Files right here in the corner. Pick the file you want to add or convert and click Open. And you'll see it here in the list. Highlight it and click Play. Okay, it plays just fine. That's good. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is make sure this output format is set to AVI. Then the next box is encoder options. You're going to want to click that. When you do, this window will pop up. Make sure that um, the Matrox MPEG-2 iframe HD codec is selected. For video compression settings, you're going to want to set your data rate to be, oh, probably 150 megabytes per second. Um, that'll produce a very high quality, visually lossless file. Uh, it'll be overkill for most people, but if you like good quality, that's a good one to choose. Uh, pick your frame rate. Make sure it matches your original source file. Uh, and this is the beauty of the Matrox Codex uh, as compared to the Avid Codec. Um, the Avid Codec did not have this option. so. It's good to have it. Um, if you record it at 24 frames per second or 60 frames per second, choose the appropriate one and then click OK. Click OK. The next box here says Edit Output. You don't need to change anything there. And you don't need to preview it, but you can if you'd like. Next thing you do is click Browse. And you're going to want to set your Output folder. That's where the converted video will save. Typically, I choose the desktop because it's easiest for me to remember. Click OK. Then click Convert. Um, actually, there is a good reason for preview, as it will convert the first few seconds of the file and play the result. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work, you're going to want to go up to Options, click it, go to Conversions, click it. And then go down to decoder options and then you want to check this box that says use FFmpeg first. Try this if you are having problems converting or playing the file. Click OK. Now you should be good to go. Click, Make sure this is highlighted and click convert. And Prism Video Converter will uh, do its thing. This is asking me if I want to overwrite it because I've already done this. So in this case I'm going to click yes. But typically you won't see that box. So now it's converting the file and it's saving it on my desktop. The benefits to using this method over the Avid DNX HD method is that uh, one, this workflow is a lot simpler and less convoluted. Uh, two, 
the Matrox Codex support 30 frames per second. And three, you're going to end up with an AVI file, which is exactly what Sony Vegas wants and needs to perform at its best with absolutely no timeline issues. So um, this is a great method. I'm really excited to have figured it out. Oh, also it's free, of course. Um, so hopefully this helps some people and uh, have a great day.